Alright, this is a continuation from the LCR series circuit. And here we shall see at the importance of this LCR AC circuit. Okay, so this is the phasor diagram for an LCR series circuit. Okay, so this phi here, it is actually the phase angle between the net EMF and the current. So when you take tan phi in this right angle triangle OEB, then this tan phi is equals to perpendicular by base. So the perpendicular is BL minus BC and the base it is equals to VR. Or you can say tan phi is equals to now what is VL VL is equals to IXL minus VC is equals to IXC and VR is equals to IR okay or I can say this tan phi is equals to taking common this I inside you'll have XL minus Xc upon I R. I from the numerator and denominator cancel. So just tan phi, it will be equals to Xl minus Xc upon R. Okay. So let me name this as equation number one. All right. Now look at the special case here. Special cases. Number one. If this angle phi, right, or I can see like this, if XL is greater than XC, so if this is greater than this, then this results here will be positive. So this implies tan phi is positive so when tan phi is positive it means that this angle phi here is also positive so when phi is positive it means this angle phi here okay it should be in the first quadrant or I can say if this is E0, this is I0, then the EMF leads the current by an angle phi. In other words, the current lags behind the EMF by an angle phi. So if you remember, in which case does the current lags behind the EMF? In a case of a purely inductive circuit. Okay, so in this circuit, if this, if the resistance which is offered by the inductor is more than the resistance offered by the capacitor, so the circuit now will behave like an inductive circuit. Okay, so when this is the case, then I will say this is similar to inductive. All right. Case number two is when XL is less than XC. So when this is less than this, then tan phi will be negative. If tan phi is negative, phi will be negative. When phi is negative, when this phi is negative, it means that phi is lying in the fourth quadrant in this way. So this is my E0. Okay. Or I can say phi negative mean the current leads the EMF by an angle phi. Okay. 
So again, when the current leads the EMF, that is the case of a capacitive circuit. So I can see here that this condition it is similar to a capacitive circuit. All right. Case number three, which is a very important case, and this case is when XL is equals to XC. When XL is equals to XC, then this value will be zero. So zero upon R will be zero. So tan phi will be zero. So if tan phi is zero, I can say phi is equals to zero. So when does phi is equals to zero? Phi is equals to zero when the circuit is a purely resistive circuit, which means in a physics diagram, if this is the current I naught, this is the EMF. So both are acting in the same direction in which the angle phi here is zero. So this is a purely capacitive, I mean resistive circuit. So these are the importance, right, of this LCR AC circuit. So please remember when the resistance which is offered by the inductor is more than the resistance offered by the capacitor. So in that case, this whole circuit will behave like an inductive circuit. And when the, when the resistance of the capacitor is more than the resistance of the inductor, then the circuit will behave like capacitive circuit. And when the resistance of these two are equal, then the circuit here will behave like as if only resistance are connected to the uh, circuit. Alright? So this is the importance. Okay. Now, let us see some more. Okay. So that case number three when XL is equals to XC, okay, this condition is known as a resonance condition of the LCR AC circuit. Okay, so what do you mean by resonance condition? A resonance condition is a condition in which the resistance offered by the inductor is equal to the resistance offered by the capacitor. That is, XL is equals to XC. Now, what is the value of XL? XL, if you remember, is equals to omega M. What is XC? 1 upon omega C. Alright? Okay. Now, because here, the condition, uh, we are talking about resonance condition. So, the angular frequency it should also correspond to the <coughs> resonance angular frequency. So for the resonance angular frequency, I will not write only simply omega r. I will not write only omega, but I'll write omega r like this. Okay? So then if you take this omega and multiply, right, you'll get omega square. And on the right hand side, you'll have 1 over LC. Okay. And do you know that this omega is related to the linear frequency as 2 pi f? Okay, so instead of this omega r, I'll write 2 pi f. And because here it is a resonance condition, so this frequency also should be written as fr, which means the resonance frequency. So this is the value of omega and this is a square. Okay. Next, just 2 pi fr, it will be 1 over root lc. Or only fr is equals to 1 upon 2 pi root over lc. So this equation here is known as the resonance frequency equation. So in exams, right, they always ask you what is a resonance condition and obtain the resonance frequency of the LCR series circuit. So this is how you have to do. Okay. 
So please note down here that when the circuit is resonance, it means that the resistance of these two components are equal. So when the resistance of these two are equal, then what will happen? Because we know the capacitor and the inductor, right? The EMF of these two are acting in opposite direction. Okay? So therefore, when the you know when the resistance of these two are equal, it means the you know the EMF of these two will cancel out, or I can say the resistance of these two will cancel out. So when the resistance of these two are cancel out, then the resistance of the circuit in this case it will be just capital R. Okay, so at resonance condition, right, the effective resistance in this case it reduced this to just capital R. So it is only this capital R that oppose the motions of current at resonance condition. Okay? So because only capital R, it is actually uh, opposing the current. So I can see here that the net impedance, if you remember, the impedance is written as Z is equals to root over R square plus XL minus XC whole thing square. At resonance, these two are equal, so they will cancel out. So Z will be equals to just root R square, or I can say Z is equals to R, which means the net resistance of the circuit at resonance is equals to just the resistance. Okay. So the resistance in this case is minimum. Because it is being offered only by the resistance capital R. So when the resistance is minimum, the current will be maximum. So please note down that point. At resonance condition, the net resistance is minimum and the current is maximum. Okay. Now what, what is the expression for the maximum uh, current in this case? Okay. So we know at resonance condition... I can say this I, maximum current I naught is equals to E naught upon Z. Okay. Or this E naught here is equals to, this I naught is equals to E naught upon, what is Z for the resonance condition? Z is equals to R. Okay. So this is the expressions for the maximum current when resonance condition occur in the circuit okay so in the next video we shall discuss about another topic that is resonant curve